Scotty from Planet Bosch at the Classic Grand in Glasgow. Glasgow! ZP. Yes, me. Of IMI. Hey! How are you doing, sir? I'm very well. Good, good. Very well, thanks. Now, the last time we spoke to you, the, the girls spoke to the Bloodstock. Uh, Bloodstock, yes. Yeah. I think you're reading a quote of your hard rock girl as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're quite popular with Planet Mosh girls for some reason, I don't know why. I can only imagine. <laughs> so, what have you been up to since then? Loads, loads. Oh, where do I begin? Um, well, by the, by the last time we spoke at, at, at um, Hard Rock Hell, we just released um, our second single, you know, Be The Voice, and um, yeah, that just took off. And from then, we had a, a tour with uh, Skid Row, which was amazing. Um, we did a bunch of our own headline shows, we played Download, we're up here today, you know, we, we do get about, we've been to Italy, you know, so we've invaded Europe, and uh, it's all going swell. Good, good. And how did, how did you guys get involved in the Headbangers Balls? You know, we know it's going for a good cause, and um, we got approached and, and asked, are we interested, and do we support the cause? You know, we're by all means, definitely, definitely. And, uh, well, they, they, they mentioned a couple of shows to go about all the UK and we jumped on board and said, let's, let's do it. You know? is, this, is this the first one of, of your set? It's the first one we do, yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh -huh. And then we do the, the finale. In the <coughs> Excellent. Excellent. And um, after, with, with the Headbangers Ball stuff, what was going to follow after that for you guys then? Wow, we, we've just finalised some shows in the week that we're going to announce next week. So, um... We're gonna do guerrilla warfare, just go in and fuck up and run out. And do it as many places and as often as possible, you know? Go in there and spread the word, because um, yeah, we, need, we need to get the people to know about it. We don't we don't have the massive budget to get the promoter in there and go, go talk about shit about our band. We do it ourselves, you know? And we well, go in there and do it. The band, I suppose, are still pretty young in terms of our Oh, it's our young, life. we're a year old. Yeah. Yeah, and we've, we've amassed loads in a year. I'm, I'm so proud of, of the boys. And, we came a long way in a very short time, and uh, it needs to be faster and bigger and better. <laughs> it's the rock and roll way. Yeah, fuck me to say I hate this bullshit. You know, I left there and I want to carry on there. So yeah, it's got to go. Because the last time I actually seen you was at one stop playing backstage. Yeah. How are you looking back now? How do you sort of feel that was to how you're playing now? I had to ask that question. Oh, no, we had several <laughs> member lineup changes, you know, and, and we were together. Well, the lineup that played then. We had your rehearsals and we jumped on the stage for blood so. <laughs> um, Again, yeah. rock and roll. No, again, it's rock and roll. Professionalism. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you got to do what you got to do, you know. And, um, yeah. And do, do, you, do you prefer playing the festivals or, you know, like... It's either or. I, I, I love festivals because it's like free reign, you know. It's, it's my sandpit festivals. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah. Just, just the whole thing of the day and the atmosphere and meeting all your mates backstage and yes yeah, it's, it's fantastic and obviously the smaller shows it's, it's so much more personal the one we played in uh, Dundee last night was nice and small everyone was close up we had an absolute blast yeah so whatever we're 550,000 out of there you've had a chance to take in some of the Scottish hospitality then oh yes <laughs> we summed up loads of that last night <laughs> I haven't had my fried mouse bite yet no. oh. <laughs> a, she goes, a, oh, you go, no. No, no, that's, I think that's a common misconception. No, 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 no. You don't actually eat them. I've been up here loads and uh, I've never tried one. You have to. It is a bit gooey. It's not as nice as it used to be honest. It's like really? black food. It's not as nice as it is. I love that one. Oh, no, it's horrible. Yeah. No, no, you get a bit chipped. Yeah, yeah. Like good You have to try a deep fried Mars bar. Oh, what bugger off tomorrow? Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a deep fried Mars bar. Chips, 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 chips at Ready Corner doesn't. Oh, that's yeah, that's it. Oh, Blue Lagoon up at Central Bridge, doesn't it? Right. So after happen. after the gig tonight, how far have we got to go for the next one? Then, Where's the, uh, the drive back to London, and we've got Cambridge on Thursday. Yes. And then it's back up to Birmingham, and then it's yeah. That's it. Yeah. So. Uh, about. And in terms of how uh, you've already you've got the first albums already out, isn't it? Yeah, if I remember yeah. right. With the with the tour days coming coming up, are you getting much of a chance to work on your material? Oh yeah, we've got uh, loads of chance to work, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's never there's never not chance to work on new material. I mean you don't have to go sit down for three days to write a song. If if, if the mood grabs you then, then the song appears. You know, it depends where you are mentally I think. And uh, 
Yeah, it's always time for it. Yeah, so you don't you don't have a set way of writing materials just as oh, it comes. God, no, 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 no. When everyone writes all the time, there's jamming and just pissing about on the guitar, you know. So I like that. Can you play it again? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this with it, and then shit grows from nowhere, you know. So yeah, there's always chance to like. Do you find that with with the change in and members in the band uh, in the past few years as well, the songs have org organically changed as well? Or? Especially when we got um, Andy, and I think, because me and Jacob were the, were the main songwriting partners from, from the beginning, you know, and now with Andy coming in, it's another guitar, there's another fresh ideas, and uh, bigger and better. <laughs> <laughs> what are the wheels up? Oh, I'll tell you what, what's coming will fucking knock a few, knock a few sales back, yeah. So when can we expect that? There's something in the pipeline real soon, actually. <laughs> but maybe just Jeez. something something small. But uh, as albums go, we're pretty much done writing everything. So we're going to do a few more shows, head into the studio, start tracking the basics, and uh, early next year. Excellent. And if folk want to find out more about I Am I, whereabouts can we do so? I Am I Official dot com. Simple as that. Go on there, you've got links to everything, Facebook, MySpace, YourSpace, <laughs> Face page, where, YouTube, um, everything, really. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere, we're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're accessible. So don't say, we could fucking find you, mate. <laughs> and to close off, if, if folk would come to see IMI, what can they expect? To go home with sore ears, an aching neck, and a fucking throbbing headache. And you will be happy as fucking fire. <laughs> this has been JP of my mind. It's still me. <laughs> <laughs> this has been him. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thanks, all, mate. Excellent. Catch you out there. Cheers. <laughs>